Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, as of this video, it is Super Bowl Sunday. And I decided that we would do the opposite of playing in the Super Bowl, and we would stream a video game. Um... For those of you just joining us, this is Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu Edition. Um, and we just defeated the second gym. We just defeated Misty. Um, it was actually a pretty good fight. Yes. Um, let's roll on here, kind of do our post-gym stuff. We'll be able to move on to the next town, Vermilion City. Um, those of you who don't know me, I'm Trent. Um, this channel is Silver Cave Gaming. I have a music project, like a rock metal project called Silver Cave. Um, the at is up there for like most social media. Um, like Instagram and TikTok and... Twitter slash X and everything. I'm going to buy... What do we even need? Um, let's get some poshies. Um, a couple more repels. I'll get a couple more Pokeballs in case we run into something we like. And two more. Feeling nasty. All right. So yeah, again, started this channel to share some of my favorite video games with you all. And Pokemon Yellow was one of my first. Um, a little recap of the squad here. We have Keith Angel, the Magikarp, lovingly named by a chat member. Um, we have Hanky Panky the Mankey, perfect. A little fighting monkey, love it. We've got Birdie the Pidgey. Um, as soon as I can rename him. I actually don't know if you can rename in this game. I don't really remember. Um, but if you can, I'm going to rename him Pudgy. <laughs> um, this is our starter, Pikachu. I'm, we're not really using him this run. Um, like I said in the last stream, we had a big plan to use... A spe like specific team for this run, but we are probably just going to end up doing whatever we want, which is great. So here, um, this house has been ransacked, as you can see. There's like footprints everywhere, and this dude had stuff stolen from a member of Team Rocket because they are just so evil. Um, so let's go fight this guy. Let's bully him into giving us the TM back. <laughs> it's not your yard. I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you. But yeah, that officer is standing in front of that house um, until you defeat Bill. Not defeat Bill, until you visit Bill. You don't fight Bill. Bill's not a fighter. He's a lover. Yes, that move, Karate Chop, almost is always a critical hit, which is crazily overpowered. But just another one of the broken things in Generation 1. Yes. We'll do my boy Keith Angel once more. I think, I think this Drowsy is kind of one of the first big Pokemon that you encounter that really tries to use sleep moves on you. Um, at least I think so. Because um, Drowsy's whole thing is that it puts you to sleep and eats your dreams. Um, and it's just a really weird looking creepy like yeah, hypnosis. That's the move. What are those called? Like a uh, Tapir? Hold up. What are those called? Yeah, like a tapir. Um, 
So it's kind of like a little bit like an anteater, but it eats your dreams, which is horrifying. <laughs> Very famously creepy Pokemon. So I don't think this guy is really going to end up giving us too much trouble. He is just a, uh, you know... Okay, there it is. There's the hypnosis. He is just a... Uh... A miserable, incompetent thief, as Ron Swanson might say. Okay. I actually don't know if this guy knows Dream Eater. He does know Confusion, which destroys Mankey, so that's sick. Love to see it. Um, let's go into Wife. Oh, yes, and Bell Sprout is named Wife because the... God bless America. <laughs> because the Pokemon Bell Sprout reminds me of my wife. Um... And for those of you who know me, it makes sense. She's a real lanky, wild mover. Okay, let's try to get out of here with a win. Come on, there we go, baby! Critical hit. Awesome, okay. So then we are going to get the TM for Dig. And Dig is a pretty big deal uh, because it does 100 base power, which is really, really good. And it is a ground move that we can use for the Electric Gym coming up. It looks like Mankey is the only team member here that can learn it, so we might hold on to it. We'll, we'll see if we need it for the Electric Gym. I forget what this is. It's a Seismic Toss, right? Yes. Um, I'll probably put that in the box. <laughs> and also, I, uh, one of the great things is that guy gets his TM stolen. And you go, fight the rocket, you get the TM back, and then you just keep it. <laughs> the game does not make you give it back. Yes, and as I've described earlier, we'll be... Stopping at the PC a lot to deposit items because the bag is just so, so small. Um, and as we go, I kind of want to showcase some of the Pokemon that you can find in each area. Um, because I would really encourage anybody watching this to go out and play this game yourself. Because I think it's wonderful. And you can use a different, a totally different team than I do. That's the glorious thing about these games. The replayability is amazing because you can really just make it whatever you want. If you want to just use Pikachu the whole time, you can use Pikachu the whole time. If you want to have a team of only bird Pokemon, go for it. If you want to have an Ashes Reject team, go for it. Which was kind of the plan beforehand, but I got bored with it pretty immediately. So. <laughs> and I want to show off more stuff. Oh yes, here's Pidgeotto. This is what Pidgey will evolve into. Um, yeah, I wanted to... Yeah, I was afraid of that. I shouldn't have done this. Oh, hey Pikachu. Um, let me get someone faster in the front so I can run away. Um... Yeah, I wanted to show you, because here you can catch, if I'm not mistaken, you can catch Meowth here. Um, I very well might be mistaken. Let me try to find one more. But Meowth was, kind of is kind of like the signature Pokemon of Jesse and James. Ah, Jigglypuff as well. And for some reason, it's only at level 3 here. I'll just knock it out. Um... Jigglypuff is a classic Pokemon from the anime. This and uh, that always puts everyone to sleep. That's its whole thing. And then, well, really, the Jigglypuff in the anime it wants to put them all. It wants to sing to them. But when it sings, everyone falls asleep. So then it takes a marker and writes on everybody's face. It's classic comedy. Classic comedy. You'll find nothing but classic comedy in the Pokemon anime. Um, here we have, I didn't really need to do that because I'm not really using Keith Angel anyway, but 
I'm kind of half focused on talking and <laughs> actually playing the game. This is the Pokemon Daycare. You can drop Pokemon off and they can gain levels there while you're not actively training them. We're not really going to use it, but here we have the underground path that we're going to take because when you try to get to the kind of the main hub city right in the middle of the region here, this guy is on guard duty and he says the road's closed, but he also says that he's thirsty. So that might come into play later. If we find an item, a particular item we can give to the dude. I think this person wants to trade. Yes. If you have a Cubone, you can trade for a Machoke. Now, Machoke is an interesting Pokemon because it, like it, there are a couple others that they will only evolve if you trade them. So basically by putting this person in the game, the developers were like, hey, if you give this person a Cubone, you'll be able to get the evolution of this Pokemon, where if you didn't, you would have to like find a friend um, to trade with. Um, but for our purposes, we probably won't use any of those Pokemon, or we at least won't evolve them, just because we are playing this game on an emulator. I actually knew there was a secret item there. I really don't know where the secret items are. I just know that one, because it's right when you walk in. Um, the uh, music here in the underground path is absolutely delightful. So basically, this path just goes underneath the city that you can't get into and takes you to the next city the game wants you to go to. So we have a nice little route here. There's a couple trainers that we can work through. I think this is a bug catcher, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, today is uh, Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know if we have any sports fans watching this, or we if, if we will have any sports fans watching this later. But I'm actually a huge sports fan. I love football, football, basketball, and baseball, just kind of like the classic trio of American sports. Um, American football, I should say. Um, let's swap into Caterpoo. I actually played baseball and football in high school back in the day. I was pretty good at football. I was not very good at baseball. That's okay. That is okay. Um, I am from Ohio, so I used to live in California for several years, so I have kind of a soft spot for some of the LA teams, but uh, Caterpie. I am an Ohio sports fan through and through. I went to the Ohio State University here. I have my Cleveland Browns Brownie the Elf showing my solidarity with other Browns fans that are sad that they're not in the Super Bowl. The Browns have literally never been to the Super Bowl, if you can believe it. Um, I sure can, being a fan since high school. I remember I talked about living in L.A., Back when I lived in L.A., there, the Browns were always on at 1 uh, p.m. And 1 p.m. is kind of just, you know, where they will put a lot of the less exciting games. And they always played at 1 p.m. because they were horrible. The Browns are good now. They're pretty good now. Um, but they were ridiculously awful um, during that time. And in California... It wasn't actually 1 o'clock, it was 10 a.m. So I got up that year at 10 a.m. <laughs> every Sunday and watched the Browns lose. I think that was the year they literally lost every game. They did not win a game. Um, and I watched just about all of them. Because even now, they're not like the best team, but they are at least like respectable. They made the playoffs this year. Well, I shouldn't say respectable for other reasons. I think sports fans will know why. Um, yes, I think this person here famously has a Butterfree. Oh yeah, we'll switch train with Keith Angel. Um, 
but yeah, big Browns fan, big Cleveland Cavaliers fan. Love LeBron James. Um, so I kind of pull for the Lakers as well. But the Cavs are doing ridiculously well right now. They've won like 16 out of their last 17 games or something like that. It is absurd. Um, we'll see if they can keep it up. But yeah, also big fan of the Cleveland Guardians. Um, other Guardians fans in my life, Corey Kluber just retired. And he was a really great pitcher for Cleveland. Um from, I don't know, like 2014 to 2020, something like that. Um, pitched in the World Series that we lost to the Cubs. It was very sad. I remember when that happened, when the, when the then Indians, now Guardians, they lost to the Cubs in the World Series, I was doing a musical in Fort Worth, Texas, actually. Um, and one of the other guys in the cast was a huge Cubs fan. And we kind of had that rivalry going. Good job, Pikachu. Underleveled, powering through. Love to see it. Um, yeah, we good. We good these last two trainers and we'll get to our next city um but yes um the guardians lost to the cubs but the cubs literally hadn't won the world series in 100 years so if they were gonna lose to anybody that felt fair just anyway like just for the universe Still a big Ohio State fan, too. Um, yeah, my wife and I, we live in the Columbus area. We love it here. Uh, I do, we do joke all the time, though. I do find it hard to um, root against children, you know? Because I can't get mad at them. Because they're just kids. They're trying their best. They don't want to be doing bad either. But they're 19 years old. <laughs> Ohio State actually had a really terrible bowl game this year. Sorry for all the sports talk if you all aren't into sports, but... We're just kind of grinding through some battles right now. Oh boy. Um, I don't want Pidgey to die. Let's get Pikachu in there. Because Pikachu's got super effective Thundershock. Let's roll. Please don't kill me. Crossing my fingers. Did not work. Yeah, we're kind of hurting right now, gang. And we have one more battle to get through. Hopefully this can just kill it. There we go. Oh, no. There's a third one. All right, we're going to stay here. Yeah, because Pidgey still doesn't have any flying moves to really hurt us with. Again, Gust would not become flying until later generations. I'm going to put it to sleep. See if I can get some free turns on it. Yeah, Sleep Powder can be a very useful move throughout the run. Throughout the run, maybe. But yeah, I don't know if we'll use Butterfree the whole time. We'll see. There we go. Because right now it's one of our better, more useful, useful mons. But that won't always be the case. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of one of these for Supersonic. How about Poison Powder? There we go. 
Supersonic causes confusion. And as we've seen, it can cause you to hit yourself in confusion, which I hate very much. Yeah, Keith Angel will be fine if we do nothing. Because we're not really using him. Alright. Last battle before our next city. Yeah, I don't know how far we'll really get today. We're just kind of... Working through this route right now. Now, this is Spiro. It does have flying moves to hurt us, so kind of my strategy here is I'm going to go into Bellsprout, and it'll probably get hit with a flying move. Oh, well, maybe not. It wants to use Fury Attack and kill us. Awesome. Love it. We're doing great, guys. We're doing absolutely great. That is kind of why I decided to save the game in case, in case some, like, real bullcrap happens. Yeah, because that was actually a really lucky... Fury Attack can hit two to five times, so that was actually really lucky. On Lucky for the Spiro that it hit five times. There we go. Birdie Evolves at level 18, so I'm very excited for that. Ah, yes. Here we have Raticate. It is a normal type. Very scary looking. It is the evolved form of Ratata, if you've seen it. It's the little... Just a little mouse. Little mouse becomes a big mouse, wouldn't you know it? Oh my lord. I was really hoping that would kill it. Okay, good. Love to see Tail Whip. Awesome. Great. Awesome. So now, we take our first steps into... Uh, Vermilion City. Vermilion City. Really like the color palette here. Kind of like the the rusty blue the the rust and blue i guess of vermilion city here this guy is like a construction worker and it says that they're tamping the land for like future development there is never a building ever built here i always really thought in the remakes they would put a building there um this is the Pokemon Fan Club. Aw, Pikachu's in love. How cute. Uh, but here we have the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club, and he gives you a very important item. All you have to do is listen to him rant and rave about his favorite Pokemon. I did. His favorite is Rapidash, and he just says it's amazing and smart and stunning and kind and cuddly. <laughs> Hug it when sleeping. <laughs> Which is funny because Rapidash is a horse with fire on it. This is fire horse. I don't know how you're supposed to cuddle that. So yes, he gives you a bike voucher. Back in Cerulean City, there's a bike shop. Um, but the bikes there are like a zillion dollars. They're like intentionally way too expensive so you can't buy one. Um, and then you come down here and get the bike voucher from him and you can go up and exchange that for a bike so you can travel around faster. Um, we'll do that a little later. We have speed up. So here's another one of those little trees that I talked about. And as you can see, there's the gym. Um, there's the gym. <laughs> um, so we got to learn how to cut down that tree before we can fight our next gym leader. And here, we have another officer, and she has a Squirtle. Squirtle is another starter from the previous games, and this is the last starter that you can get gifted. Um, we'll probably pick up Squirtle, but we're probably not going to use them because we have we will have Gyarados. We'll have Magikarp's Evolution as our water type. Um, yes, the Squirtle's always getting into mischief. Famously in the anime, Ash gets 
a Squirtle that is like basically just doing graffiti everywhere and just causing general mayhem. And it's part of like a little gang of Squirtle. It's very cute. They all wear sunglasses. It's, it's amazing. So this officer is just like, I think we, this, this Squirtle needs a good trainer, it needs a good influence. Um, yes, we can start to buy super potions, which is great. Um, we might, I'll just, I'll grab one paralyzed heal. Just in case. I might have to sell some of those items back to make room in our bag once again. Um, so over here, this is called Diglett's Cave. And here you can encounter a very useful Pokemon called Diglett. And I'll just show you one. We'll go through Diglett's Cave a little bit later after we get the ability to cut down trees. Um, oh yes, we did, we did already see Diglett in Brock's Gym. I forgot about that. Uh, but this is where you can catch one of your own. And it's, a, and it's a ground type Pokemon, which is very useful against our next gym leader because he trains the electric type. Um, and here there's a bunch of trainers that you can fight, um, but we are gonna save them for later because we are going to go on to the main event here. healed up this is where we get to go on the SS and if you remember Bill gave us our SS ticket so that we can get on the SS and and that'll kind of help us unlock the next part of the game so let's roll there she is our player character is as big as a full smokestack of the SSN, if this scale is to be believed. Really shows you the, the limitations of the hardware of the day. But it gets a lot bigger when you walk in. Yes, there are a lot of battles that you can partake in on the SSN. We'll probably try to do some of them because there are items in these rooms and a lot of the trainers will go away because once you are finished with the SSAN kind of quest, the ship just sails away on her maiden voyage. Um, oh boy, that did more than I wanted it to. Oh no! We are speed tied. Yeah, and I feel like our squad is kind of hurting for levels a little bit. And I think it's mostly because our boy Magikarp can't do anything. <laughs> and we're splitting a lot of the experience with him. Yeah, and these games are really planned out um, so that they're, you know, they're planned out and play tested so that you can get like an adequate amount of experience just by fighting all of the trainers that are around to help you continue through the game. TM08. All right, we have another trainer here and then I'll check out what TM08 is. Um, I'll see how far Keith Angel can get on this here, Pidgey. Probably not very, but we're going to give it the old college try. All right, now its accuracy is just annoying me. We'll move into Pika. Don't use quick deck. Yeah, Pikachu is really starting to fall behind level-wise because we're not really, we're not really using them. 
but he can still come really come in handy against the flying type alas good night sweet prince all right there we go Nidoran female okay I'm gonna split that with Caterpoo confusion yeah as you continue nice as you continue throughout the game you do kind of start to see some of the trainers that you fight use the same Pokemon um, And kind of the philosophy there is that they want to keep some, like, special, you know? Special for, like, the boss trainers. Um, oftentimes when you have a boss trainer, you will... Hello, sir. You pup a day, Bargin. Um, usually each, like, boss trainer will have just a Pokemon you haven't really seen before. Um, which is lovely. Makes that, makes those battles that much more special. And it kind of introduces the idea of, like, ace. Ace Pokemon on the squad. Like, uh, this is, like, their, their, their trump card. Their, like, final, uh, best last resort for when they use them in the battle. Um, I'm just gonna let Hanky Panky take this one. I have always loved Mankey and Primeape. Um, there are just other fighting Pokemon in the game that people are usually more keen to use. Um, but I'm always happy to use Mankey. And again, as we as we saw, Mankey's super useful against Brock. All right, we're kind of hurting, so I'm going to pop out. Luckily, you can leave and come back. Um, sorry about the music here. Um, luckily, the SSN lets you uh, pop out and come back if your squad's hurting. Absolutely, I have a ticket, sir. If we're lucky, we might be able to evolve Magikarp before too terribly long. Ah, Growlithe. Growlithe is a really cool Pokemon, kind of a key Pokemon. Um, we will see Growlithe's evolution later in the game, which is super cool. Um, it actually got a special form... I've spoken before about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah, it's a fire type. Um, it actually got a special form in those games, which was really cool. And uh, I'm excited for you to see its evolution as we go. Hmm. Birdie is really needing to evolve. Oh no. Once Birdie evolves, we're really going to be sitting pretty. Our boy Hanky Panky is nice and fast, though. All right, three levels. Keep the countdown going. All right, he's got another one. Um, we'll stay in. <laughs> Let's see if that does a little more than Karate job no about the same don't kill me don't do it <laughs> dang it i'm gonna see if keith angel can finish the job here its tackle does barely not barely anything but one more should do the trick come on yeah i love it
Uh, it is very annoying that Hanky Panky died. Sorry, I'm turning off the music just so we can speed back real quick. Um, because later in the game you get these items called revives where you can revive a fainted Pokemon, but you don't have access to that in the earlier parts of the game. So let me... There we go. Music is back. And here we just have a lower deck. There is a really, really good TM. Machoke. Yeah, that was the trade that we talked about earlier. There is a really good TM um, that you can get a hold of in this on the boat here. Uh, yes, Horsey, I remember you. I don't know if it has much to hurt Magikarp, so let's see if we can really... Uh, still, st still not great. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Oh yes, I'll bring in Wife. We've had some bad matchups. I haven't really been able to use Bellsprout much this stream, but... Yeah, we can probably still go for a little while longer today. I would love to kind of get through a lot of the SSN. There's just a lot of trainers here. We'll stay in. Tentacool, this is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. This is a poison type Pokemon, as well as a water type. It's like a, you know, like a stinging squid thing. Um, and it's actually one of the, when it evolves, it actually becomes one of the best Pokemon in the whole game. Um, people don't really think of it like that, because once you get out to the water portions of this game, it's really common and annoying. Um, oh boy, this is horrible. Okay. Come on, Birdie. Come on. Oh my lord. Horrific. Just horrific. Terrible luck. Makes me so very sad. Don't kill me in one hit. There we go. All right, we'll get this guy. Yes, Shelder, perfect. Um, we can move into Wife again. Get some Vine Whips going. Ah, oh, Wife, you're so slow. My wife in real life isn't slow at all. She's so fast. Yeah, and I think every time you get hit in confusion, it kind of deals damage back to you relative. Oh, that's a generation one miss for you. That's that one in 256% uh, odds glitch to where you can just move a, miss a move that's not supposed to miss. Um, oh my lord, that's horrible. Okay. Um. But I think when you're confused in this game, it looks like the damage that gets dealed back to you is kind of like relative to the amount of damage that you were gonna do. So that's why when Bellsprout hit itself in confusion, it did so much damage. Um, all right, we're running back. Yes, this can get very annoying. I might just try to not let people die and grab some extra potions and then see if we can really make it through there a little bit quicker. I'm 
da, da, da. Hold on, once we get here, let me let me let y'all appreciate the music. Very stately. This always reminds me of the Titanic, especially because <laughs> in the anime, when they go on the SS Anne, this doesn't happen in the game, but when they go on the SS Anne in the anime, um, it ends up sinking. And if you're like me and you were alive during that time, um, there was a particularly popular movie called Titanic about the Titanic. It was the biggest movie in existence up to that point. Um, so I think they were just like, the Titanic sinks, so maybe let's like the SS Anne sink. Um, but in the game, they don't do that. It just kind of sails away. Maybe it does sink. I mean, you, know, you don't see it. But I like to think in my my head cannon that the SSN in the game doesn't sink. I feel a lot better about that anyway. Sleep powder, ooh, another sleep user. That is absolutely excellent. We will take advantage of that a lot. We'll probably get rid of poison powder um, because Regular poison in this game isn't particularly useful. I mean, it's 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 good. Um, it's not a bad thing to use. But I'm gonna switch train, Magikarp, and Bell Sprout. Excuse me. Uh, but speaking of Titanic, that is one of my favorite movies just ever. I love Titanic. Um, I don't really have an actual favorite movie, like a definitive favorite movie. Um, I really just kind of have like a top tier, kind of like a cloud of a cloud of favorites because it's too hard to pick one. It's kind of like video games in that way. Um, even though I do. I do say that my favorite video game is definitely Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Which, I, they're all technically different games, but you know. They're all very similar. The, ver the version differences are not big. Um, back in the day when they made the third version, those differences were big. Um, kind of like a Final Mix version. Um, but when they initially come out with kind of like the mirror versions of each other, there's just like slight differences like some version exclusive Pokemon um, and I mean at least in these games that's about it that's about the only difference um, because the main the main idea when these came out was that um, they wanted you to catch them all um, that was never really how I played. I always just loved to play through the story and get all the badges and get and go through that way. But the main idea when it came out was the, was like the collecting aspect of all the Pokemon. And the reason that they had version exclusive Pokemon was so that you would be encouraged to trade with friends. And, oh, that's terrible. Oh boy. And back in the day, there was a thing, I should have tried to put it to sleep. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh boy. That was probably really loud, sorry. Back in the day, they had a thing called a link cable Come on, Birdie. Dang it. That you would, you know, use to connect two Game Boys together with. And, you know, I'm going to stay in with Birdie and hopefully try 
to evolve it, but I will I will quickly move out to life. Um, and because there wasn't there wasn't like Wi-Fi or anything, you couldn't really connect um, devices that way. Um, back in the day, we had to do it with. There we go. Okay, so Birdie's gonna evolve. That's going to be greatly helpful. Uh, you just had to put a cable between the two devices and connect them that way. And I also remember when um, when these games were remade. TM44, I forget what that is. What we got? Ah, oh, rest. That could be useful later. I don't think we're gonna use that right now. Okay. Last cabin on the lower floor here. Is it more battles? I swear. I swear, man. Yeah. Um. Oh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, just talking about back in the day, back in my day. All the young people don't know how hard it was. Got a nice new back sprite here. Defense fell. That is very bad because acid is an offensive move. And if you lower the defense, <laughs> that can make it do more next time. Okay, we good. Um, let's do this. Ironically, we're working so hard to evolve our Magikarp, but ironically, in the next gym, in the Electric Gym, Magikarp will be essentially useless. <laughs> Bellsprout is actually out of grass moves, which is not good. Um, so today we're kind of uh, getting there in terms of time for this stream, but there's probably more that we can do on the SSN. I just want to show you one of the key battles maybe today. Because there is kind of a mini boss here. There's no item up here, so I'm just gonna leave that sailor left unbattled. I don't care too much about him. I'm gonna fight with the wall for a second. Don't mind me. Uh, and I can put some stuff back into our PC. Like that REST TM, we're not going to use that for a while. Oh, TM 19 I put away. Yeah. This one, what was TM 8? In the newer games, they tell you the TM before. Ah, yes, there it is. Body Slam. Body Slam is a ridiculously powerful move um, for this point of the game, specifically because it can cause um, paralysis. Now, I do want to use this at some point, probably, but I am going to deposit it for now because we will want to use it later. And that max potion that we picked up, I'm actually going to sell that because one, we're saving space in our bag, and two, we don't really need that much firepower on the potions just yet. Um, yeah, when it comes to playing this in like old games when your bag is limited, it's really just all about uh, space management. 
Space management. It's the job of an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, like if you go out this way, this is like the deck of the ship, which is cool. Okay. I was going to do a bit. And you stopped me from doing my bit. I don't appreciate it. Very nice to have Birdie evolve, but again, the irony of that is that Birdie's just not really going to be particularly useful against our next gym. Um, the Electric Gym. Let's see. Shilda. Now, Wife, on the other hand, is going to be pretty good. Because grass resists the electric type. I'm the king of the world. See? That was worth it. <laughs> um, I think there's just two sailors out here you can battle. Oh, I realize I didn't heal Caterpoo. Let's try to put you to sleep. Please work. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll get I'll get Butterfree out of here soon. Um for Tentacool, we're just going to go into Hanky Panky. Get those critical hit karate chops going. Excelente! Okay, so... I kind of forget where I am. <laughs> Oops. Because as you can see here, the potions are kind of already becoming a little bit obsolete. That's why they give you those super potions in the new Mart. They don't heal you up quite as much, I think. Oh yeah, this goes to the kitchen. You can't fight any of these guys, but it's just a cute little detail. Um, oh, and I think he said I saw an odd ball in the trash. So let me check. Les main courses, eels à barbecue. Hey, a great ball. That is like a Pokeball, but it is better, therefore great. Um, there are regular old Pokeballs. You get uh, great balls just like that. And there are Ultra Balls. Uh, now, I know veterans of the game will point out that there is another type of ball that I am not talking about. But if you've never played this game before or don't know what Pokemon is, I just won't say it. But it's a very important uh, thing later that we'll, that we'll see. Um, okay, we do have a little bit of time. There are more battles in these cabins that I'll probably check out. But as our, the last part of our stream, whenever I see that little, like, stare pattern in the, um, what you call it, the design, that's how I know where we are. And for our last bit today we're gonna save because we have a battle with this little piece of poop were you really invited Ugh, so inconsiderate um yeah he says he's already caught 40 different kinds yeah he's a real he's real braggadocious i don't really appreciate blue at all I just called him Blue. We we called him Gary in this memory. Um, um, I'll just try to get one little attack off, because Spiro is probably going to outspeed and kill Pikachu anyway. So, quick attack, again, gives us that priority. Let's see. Um, yeah, from here it's going to be Birdie. Because... As we've gone along, we are particularly weak to flying type, especially because I've just decided not to train Pikachu very much this run through. 
Ratata. Um, let's just let Hanky Panky go for it. Yes, and here his levels are a little bit lower because when you first fight him, kind of like outside of Misty's gym earlier in the run, um, he's kind of a little bit higher level um, than you are, but here when you encounter him again, he's actually pretty, pretty reasonably leveled and pretty on par with where you're gonna be. And our girl wife is gonna be super effective against Sandshrew which we love to see. Now, in Pokemon Yellow, your rival actually has a very significantly different team, and they kind of did that just like for the, ooh, we only have one more level. Only one more level. They kind of do that just for the sake of letting him be different than um, what you saw in Red and Blue. But his team, his teams from Red and Blue, those are considered kind of like pretty iconic and kind of like like your rival's iconic Pokemon from this game. So yellow really kind of zags as far as that is concerned with what you what your rival uses. And then Eevee thankfully is a normal type so we can just hit him with the low kick and beat him up. Easy peasy. Very very excited for Keith Angel to get that last level. But that is something that you'll have to see next time. A cut master on board. There you have it, folks. Um, so right in there through there, that's where you'll encounter the cut master that he talks about. Um, but we'll see that next stream. We're getting close to an hour here, and I usually like to keep these under an hour. Um, Thank you to whoever tunes in um, to this episode, and have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week of streaming this on a Sunday, like I said, and I cannot wait to continue sharing this game with you. Thanks, folks.